good evening how you guys are doing today good morning and what it is for you guys over there the title of this chit chat story is what you hear chlamydia who so let's get to the story me and my lovely husband we've been married for 10 years Ten. every time we would get into a conflict it was always babe you deserve a better husband I will try harder even if it was my fault. You know, maybe after three years, I was like, nah, bruh, you will talk today. I'm throwing stuff, you know, because he would not have a, an argument, disagreement, conflict, none of that. You know, I've been ill, sickle cell, losing my sight, laser surgery, hospitalized all the time, PCOS, gaining weight, all this knickknack. You know, I went to go do a routine pap smear. So when I went to go to my doctor, she is my age, shout out to Nicole, and Zafrin's group. She always told me, whenever you come in here, you know, I know we trust, uh, we Christians, and we trust our husbands and everything, but we're not with them 24-7. So I'm just going to test you for everything. I'm like, you know, it's whatever. She said, if I ever call you, remember, no news is good news. So if I ever call you and tell you Lorena Bobbitt, let me tell you who Lorena Bobby is. She's that lady who had chopped her husband's penis off. We went ahead and we did it. You know, have <laughs> laughing and stuff when she said it. So then a uh, few days later, because it takes time to grow specimen and everything in the lab. A few days later, she calls. Hello? Hello, Gina. It's Nicole. Hey, Nicole. How are you doing? Wait. Hold on, um, no news is good news, so why are you calling me? I hope this is a social call. <laughs> remember the Lorena Bobbitt comment? Yeah, I remember when you said that. Results came in. You have gonorrhea and chlamydia. What? Who has gonorrhea and chlamydia? You. Me? I'm sorry, <laughs> have you had any other partners? No, I've never been with anyone. Put the janitor in the hospital? Like, really? I know this is unfortunate, All right. but please don't do anything. No, I'm not going to do anything rash. You no, girl, you know me. I'm not going to do anything rash. Okay, well, I will need you and your spouse to come in for children. Okay. So it doesn't spread anymore. Uh-huh. Okay? Yeah, I'll be in. Yeah. Be good uh, now. Okay. Bye. All right. See you <laughs> What the hell? I'm not sure what you said. Oh, I know what I said. Oh. 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 So let me get this straight. Did I understand this correctly? No. So he cheated on me? While I'm in the hospital? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> about to chop his junk oh girl don't do it don't do it you can't go to jail compose yourself self-control gotta be another explanation yep mm -hmm. now you know what's going through my mind mm -hmm. my sweet husband my sweet husband so I called the oh. network and I couldn't wait. I was going to wait for him to come home, but I couldn't wait. And I was like, babe, um, when you get off work, come straight home. Okay? Just come straight home. Don't go anywhere because we need to talk. Now he's like, I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you say we need to talk on the phone. I can't wait. Just do it now. So I'm like, okay. My gynecologist called me and said that um, <laughs> I have gonorrhea and chlamydia. So he's like, can your illness, you know, give that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> we have to have been with someone else. So, you know, he said, so what are you asking? I said, oh, I'm just asking, you know, how, because she needs us to come in to do treatment. And he's like, wait, I don't have what you have. And I'm like, no, he didn't. 
I'm not going to get no shot. I will go to an urgent care and prove to you that I don't have what you have. Don't try me like that. Are you trying to say I cheated on you? All right. So for three days, it's silence in this house. Like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And I'm sitting there and he comes to me with a, a letter and um, saying that, you know, for all the years that we've been married and I've been getting ill and being hospitalized, the more he fell in love with me and he would never do something like that and everything. Honey, I was so stressed that I ended up in the hospital with a sickle cell crisis for a week. Gynecologist calls me and says, where are you guys? You need to come in and get a shot and everything, get your treatment and stuff because it can just pass and get worse and whatever. I said, listen, I had to relocate. Mm -hmm. So I walk in on Friday, right? And I go ahead and I take this test and I'm looking at Nicole like, ah, bruh. All right. So then we take it. The whole weekend we are silent. Like I'm sitting here like, oh my goodness. The weekend felt like a thousand years. Look at this chick. Mm -hmm. Back to me. Monday come, eight o'clock sharp, get a phone call. And she's like, Gina, not now, nor have you ever had a strand of gonorrhea and chlamydia. What? <laughs> so let me get this straight. Some drunk chick, a brother, came from the club or whatever, walked into work the next day, switched my specimen with someone else, and misdiagnosed me? My marriage was almost on the rock. Somebody almost lost their penis. Bruh. And I would have been in jail. Someone really almost lost the whole package. So, now, the husband that I told you who uh, responds to, you deserve a better husband. I'll try harder. <laughs> Not anymore, bruh. <laughs> Not anymore. Now, brother done, boy, he popping his chest like, you're wrong. In any conflict, you're wrong. No, 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 no. Bruh, like, really? Now, sister can't even get by no more. Sister can't even get by when she wrong. Like, for real? Cut me some slack. Can we go back to the way it was? Mm -mm. Changed the whole course of my marriage. Yes, I did call my lawyers. I called my lawyers. I was like, listen. <laughs> I have these results from a lab. Not even my doctor. She's sweet. From the lab, they said. My doctor was like, I feel so bad because I never do a retest for people. And I always talk to them and, and tell them the facts about these results so how many relationships have broken up because of maybe a false result like really so that is the time that i was diagnosed with gonorrhea and chlamydia who if you like these story times please comment subscribe and give a thumbs up and please don't forget to share these story times, Life of a Sickler. <laughs>